Hi, um, so today, as you can see by the title, it is a review for Batgirl, and I'd like to apologize for reason being that I have not uploaded in such a while, and the reason is because I don't have anything to review, and I have been working on this, um, series for quite a while, and I have finally finished all five volumes, and it, can I just say that it was so amazing, I, I don't know how else to describe it, it's, it's so great, you need, every, every comic person needs to read it, if you're a Batman fan, or a Joker, or Harley Quinn, anything like that, it's so great, I mean, for my perspective, so a lot of people may not even think, that's not even good, like, stuff, but I feel like, for me, since I haven't read many comics, let me tell you that, I haven't read so many compared to older people, like, in their 20s or teenagers that have read so many in their life, I haven't done that, this is just me beginning to read a lot, but the Batgirl one, which, um, I'm not sure if it's, like, the first one, I haven't done so much research on it, but it's really really great um the f they have five volumes in this series and the first one really gets you into it you got like all sorry about that like all um comics should do when they're making a series they should have the first book and really gets you intrigued into reading the next one and the next one which is what the first one does for me and um, I think it's very nice, um, not much of remembering the first one, um, but I, I'm, I know it was really great, and I love the illustrations, and it was really amazing, and the second one was really, really cool, um, just telling you the blood, like, obviously, there's gonna be a lot of blood in this, there's a lot of fighting, which I expect from her, because Batgirl's cool, and she fights, obviously, so there's a lot, a lot of fighting scenes, um, yeah, so, that, number two is, is that, that, volume two is really great, um, number three is, um, pretty cool to, just the, the ones that got really, really just so intense was definitely four and three, I think three, and, oh, no, 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 yeah, three was kind of intense, but what really got intense was four and five, um, four was one of the creepiest ones because there is so much creepy things in this i think number three was really creepy also but number four was so creepy for me because they had this like um character that was just uh, like a puppet thing and it, it, it's just oh my gosh i it was it brought almost nightmares i could not read it at night time because it would just scare me to death but that that's that really is scary. Um, just letting you younger kind of people that want to read this, it it can get a bit creepy. But um, it's it's really really great for the storyline. Why is it like this? I'm gonna throw it to the floor real quick. Um, it it just is so um really really great. I like the storyline of it. Um. If you don't know who Batgirl is, which I should have said in the beginning, I'm sorry. Um, her name is Barbara Gordon. Her father is the commissioner. So basically the best, um, well, it's said in there, the best police in Gotham. And um, yeah, she, she has a brother named James and she has her mother named Barbara Gordon. By the way, commissioner and his wife are divorced. And they, she, she left in a very... When they were very young, um, Batgirl and James, the brother, and just stuff happens. Let me tell you. Oh shoot! Um, like James, I think he left like later on, like because they got older, of course. But um, like they couldn't find him because he he's kind of crazy in the mind. Uh, basically, like. Um, I don't want to spoil, so I'm trying to think, should I say this? Um, he's just dangerous, basically. He's 
just a weird, dangerous kid. And you'll understand if you ever read it. Um, I know that this series can also be gotten at um, libraries. I've seen it because my parents work at a library. Yeah. And I've seen it um, in their library. So I know that this is most likely available in a library. But I had this series... Um, from online and yeah it, it was it's really great number five really just ends it all um first thing is at the end end like I think it ends and then there's like a sequel kind of thing at the end of the comic like just, just a little bit of that for a few pages and in my personal opinion I think there was a different writer that did that ending with the ending ending and there was a total different um, artist, for sure, because it was not the same art as the rest of the series. And I don't want to say it just felt like kind of crap to me. <laughs> the ending is just, I mean, it was okay, fine, you can, tell, you can do that, sure. But um, for me, I just, I didn't, I didn't like it a whole lot as much as I liked the series I, I I was expecting the ending to be really really great but it just turned out kind of poop and just everywhere like it was just nonsense for me you'll under you I hope you understand if you ever read it because it, it's just everywhere but don't get that um to you don't don't make that think that this is not a not a good series it's it's amazing series um the whole series will make up for that just that one moment that that ending because the whole thing is great um i'll tell you some characters that show up cuz oh my gosh uh, in volume 5 it gets so real and it's so weird just for me seeing that but it oh i was like so turned <laughs> in it which sounds just so weird but i'm serious i i was just like yes we are ready cuz um, Black Canary comes in. This other character, I asked my father if he ever knew this character, but there was this character that just comes in literally randomly, and you'll understand. Um, I don't even know who this person is. Even Batgirl didn't even know who this person is, and you know she has a really, really amazing memory. But that that's just random character that comes in, and. Some other characters from other series actually come inside. Um, only one that I knew, but I won't, I won't say because it's you just gotta read to find out. And um, also, um, they had to put Joker in this too. Um, I think he was in Volume 3 for sure. Yeah, you'll see it on the cover anyways. On Volume 3, you'll see him on the cover. And it, it, it just, it's just disturbing. Um, first off. Volume 3 is very intense from Joker being so brutal. And you'll understand once you read it. Because it's, it's just, ugh, ugh, oh god. Because I have never read really Joker's, um, like, read Joker in a comic. Uh, I think I maybe have seen him once or twice or something. But he, he was like, this Volume 3 was mostly him featured in it. And it was brutal for me, but I know if I read other comics of just him, he is a brutal guy. So that's just something you should know. But if I had to choose a age group or whatever, age to age, to read this, 13 is fine because I am 13. Um, I think since it's so, I mean, it can be scary. For certain kids, I mean, um, if you're used to scariness and like horror and all that, this is literally nothing for you. But for me, yes, this was terrible for me at night. Um, but I think the age group could could go to 12 and up, but it depends on your um, scaredy cat level and all that stuff. And also, if you're allowed to just like see um very brutal bloody stuff like that because i'm not sure if you're allowed or all that but definitely one day you should read this series it was really amazing and 
there was also a newest Batgirl that came out, which is like the most updated one. That I'm not sure when it came out, but I did make a review video on that, which I will link below. And I will just like to say that um, the newest one was really great also, but you can find out more of that down below. And I did meet the authors for that, but I really... Oh, I really wanted to meet the artist for that series, but she was not there, of course. And no artist, I think, was there. It was just, like, what? But, um, anyways, this Batgirl series was, can I say, phenomenal. Phenomenal. And you should buy it or get it at the library and read it come obsessed with it. I think I'm obsessed with Batgirl now. You can call me Batgirl now because I know a lot of things now about her and it's just great. Amazing. Yes. You can see so many reviews for this series, I swear. On the book, you'll see like some of those like um writers um that be writing like the New York Times kind of review it and they say like a line on it like phenomenal, amazing, all that stuff. And you'll see that on all the Batgirls because it's that good so just read it love it and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching go get yourself some batgirl stuff and i'll see you guys next time